Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about uh, negative pressure wound therapy. What are the points we have to know about negative pressure wound therapy? Negative pressure wound therapy is a wound management technology that utilizes a negative pressure of about minus 125 millimeter of mercury for management of various types of wound. We are going to look at the indications. The indications of negative pressure wound therapy are it is used when the primary closure of the wound is not possible as in chronic wounds, ulcers as in venous ulcers, pressure sores or diabetic foot ulcers. In case of open abdomen, it can be used for temporary closure of abdomen and in case of partial thickness burns. The NPWT consists of following components. It consists of a polyurethane sheet, a granular foam which is placed on the wound and the adhesive plastic sheet which is placed over the foam. The entire thing is connected to a suction device of about minus 125 millimeter of mercury. Now let us see the mechanism of action of this NPWT machine. This NPWT acts by two broad mechanisms, a physical mechanism and biological mechanism. The physical mechanism is the macro strain and the biological is the micro strain. Let us see the physical actions of NPWT. This decreases the edema of the tissues and by removing the excess fluid and exudates it also helps in approximation of the wound edges in the biological action we see that it increases the tissue perfusion the cells become more metabolically active and thus it, there is fibroblast migration and extracellular matrix deposition there is also increased vascularity of the tissues leading to increased granulation tissue formation it also decreases the bacterial count in the wound and as well as the protein assays that is the mmp1 2 and 9 now let us see the advantages of NPWT. This is a cost effective method of wound management. It decreases the hospital stay as well as it improves the graft uptake. But at the same time it has few limitations. The NPWT suction causes discomfort to the patient. It has few limitations. It restricts the mobility of the patient as well as the negative suction causes some discomfort to the patient. And rarely when it is placed over the gut there might be development of enterocutaneous fistula. These are the images before NPWT therapy and after NPWT therapy. So these were the few points about NPWT as a short note for exam. Stay tuned to this channel for further exam oriented videos. Please drop your feedback in the comment section and thank you for watching this video.